The reason I enjoy architecture is because it holds such a great impression on you when you're rolling down the city and you're able to see these many different overlapping colors and reflections. It kind of creates a playful environment to be in. Today's agenda, top five favorite architectural pieces. I have to go downtown in order to get to that vicinity to capture what I am inspired by. But today's agenda for equipment, I got a Canon 24 to 70 millimeter Tamron lens on the Canon T5 body. Um, and just to kind of add some flavor to this video and try something new, I have the Optica 8 millimeter fisheye lens. Pretty distorted imagery going to be happening on that lens, but that's part of the reason why I wanted to make this video, is to see what the product of that crazy distortion will be. So the five buildings I have in mind are the Ralston, the Independent, the Vancouver House, the Jubilee House, and the Coveton. Okay, those are the go-tos. Follow me through the video and let's find out what those are all about. right now but the sun's kind of breaking through the clouds and the sun's supposed to bring out more later in the evening so uh, right now it's pretty dope because I'm getting a very golden hue to my images what I do really enjoy about it is the fact that if you're panning from side angles like say you're biking past it driving past it the building really twists aggressively all the different edges on each balcony twists in a way that kind of creates a motion this is only the first of the five buildings I want to show you today so I'm going to continue the photo walk, but at the Vancouver house. Okay, so I'm in a garden right now, right before I reach Granville Street. And in the distance here, you can actually see the Vancouver house. That's the location I need to go, because that's the specific building I'm looking to capture today. Let's hit Granville Bridge and get over there. on Granville Bridge, just facing the downtown side. Out here with the vlog cam, with the DSLR, with the Vancouver house. No shame, it's all inspiration. Vlogging is chill because we're out here for a higher purpose. Let's get back to it, I gotta capture these images. I thought these railings here that board the Granville Bridge would be cool to enhance the, the framing of this structure. However, the fisheye lens is kind of acting up. It's way too aggressive with the degrees. The building literally starts to fold in on itself where you can't even see its own features. The facade starts to disappear. But um, maybe there's better opportunities in the next buildings we're going to visit. This was just a test. It's not even one of my favorites. It's an excellent one, but the fisheye is not really cutting it right now. Not really liking the photographs. They're just kind of caving in on themselves. I'm going to keep rocking the fisheye and see if I can evolve with it coming to the next buildings. I'm about to reach the Vancouver house now. Since Fresh Street Market Grocery Store is right on the base floor, and my roommate actually works here, he blessed me with a cup of fine light roast coffee. A free medium roast coffee on an empty stomach. You best believe this vlog is gonna hit. So stay tuned. I'm gonna continue moving forward to catch the next subjects. This building is pretty much constructed based off the influence of neo-futurism, and it's, I think, 287 units or 300 87 units. I'm not sure, but this thing is a beast. The rent's pretty high, but it's all good because as long as you multiply your numbers, you can live here too. So I'm going to sit on each corner of this building, try and get a far away full crop image, and then I'll dive into the fisheye and see what could possibly be created with that lens. This is made by Big Architects, B-I-G, and this is a residential skyscraper. It has a lot of reflections and simple simple composition that allows for a lot of expressionism. It has grays, silvers, glass, reflections, and a lot of cubic squares that fold on each other. Yo, that's a 13 million dollar chandelier. 
Let's go. Um, right now, I shot a bunch of these photos from this angle with the fisheye lens. They're actually not bad, I'm surprised. I took multiple trips to shoot photos here, but the sky, the sky the last few times was too bright and it was just causing a lot of issues for my camera. But the way the exposure is now with the clouds is much better for taking photographs. This is the Ralston Midwestern Coast design. Um, I'm gonna go through this little, uh, I'm gonna go through this fence hole because I need a wider angle. This is located right at the off ramp of the Granville Bridge moving into downtown and uh, it's roughly in the vicinity of the Vancouver house and uh, some of the other buildings I'll be shooting today. The reason I like it is because it kind of, the facade sticks out. There's a lot of overhang and the balconies are very cubic, much more engaging for the eye and for the camera. Like any other it, it it's a small mid-rise building it's a youth center the reason why I enjoy this facade of the Covenant house most is because the way they integrate multiple colors um, is actually very fluid I love the way the colors fuse together to create a very joyful kind of environment it allows your eyes to kind of catch multiple areas instead of focusing on the full idea, which is the structure. I'm going to move to the fifth and the last place that I want to photograph, and that is the Jubilee House. So I'm going to rush over there on my bike and uh, arrive there shortly. stairwell all the way to the entrance. So right behind me you see the Jubilee House. It's definitely a great piece of architecture that I personally admire. The green trim on it allows for a very vibrant accent which kind of brings it more alive in my opinion. So I'm definitely going to aim for that. This is pretty much more of a lower income housing unit for people who need help or assistance. Ultimately, I'm going to go in a quick session, abstract, full frame, and uh, break it down. The Jubilee House is pretty much a green facaded building that has protruding balconies on it. And uh, it has a really awesome kind of natural look to it. And the fact that the balcony is protruded kind of enhances the expression that I was inspired by from that building. I spoke to two people who actually live there. Uh, the first person was an old gentleman, this old man was talking architecture, and then shortly thereafter I spoke to this woman who asked me what I was doing, and I was obviously photographing photos of this architecture, and she actually shared in on the discussion of why I appreciate the building. She even mentioned it to herself that she likes the green trim on that structure. I like buildings that have more to say than just their purpose. I was recently asked by a friend of mine, why do I like architecture? And I really didn't have a straight answer for him, but I think it's ultimately expressionism. I like the details and the character that architecture provides, and it kind of makes you ponder and think about what you're, what you're doing in your own life and how you are designing it and the way you're engineering it. My five favorite buildings just went down. That's pretty much all I wanted to show you because those five buildings I just took photographs of are my personal favorites, like I said in the introduction. But I just wanted to give you the lowdown and the viewpoint of how I view these and take photos of these structures. The fisheye didn't turn out to be the most effective to uh, capture these images. It's just way too distorted with the 180 degrees. There's a lot of distraction that goes on in your photos when you're shooting with that lens. So most of my prime images came from my 24 to 70 millimeter. I hope you enjoyed the photographs that I got today. That's gonna close off my video, but anyways, thanks for watching. I'm gonna keep uploading content weekly, so stay tuned for more vlogs. Anyways, salute.